Yes, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome each and everyone. Uh, please, if you're new to our YouTube channel, tap that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time you upload our videos, you're the first person to watch and comment. Yes, those people have been asking me how we do our standard cattle sheds. Today, uh, I have made this video for only those people who are willing to start their cattle or their dairy farming. But uh, when they are limited in, in, in the space of land. So now, this is a simple structure of four cows, milking cows. And uh, this structure here it is seated on a 40 by 30 feet plot of land. Meaning that it is a very small one, but it is a composite one. Meaning that it has all the required and necessary components of a cattle shed. To begin with, I would like to show you, I can show them, these are the feeding crumbs for our cows. They feed from this. If they would like to drink water, they drink from here. Now, this will act, uh, uh, it will act into, 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 it has two significance. One significance is to inspect, spray or inspect an animal from here. Another significant is I can also milk from here. It acts as a milking parlor. At the same time, it, it is acting as an inspection uh, section for our cow. It takes one cow at a time. So, <coughs> uh, this is where they stand when they are feeding. And uh, this is the walking area where they walk. Uh, you know, even if your cow is not going to go outside, it is on a zero grazing, it is good to give it enough space to roam around. Eh? It couldn't be so very big, but this space is enough for our cows to move from eating and sleeping. So these are the two because of our animals. Our animals sleep here. If they need to sleep, then they come here. This is a composite cubicle, meaning we can put <coughs> sawdust or we can put uh, these coffee husks or you can even put sand. Uh, the meaning of this, if my cow is standing when it wants to, to, to urinate, it will fear this one to, be, to bang its head. So it has to go behind. By the time uh, when it, it, it reaches here, it has to, to urinate here. So when it urinates here, the urine it just moves up to the what? Up the dung pit to the trench and it goes out. And uh, another section here, we are having the calf spare. Our calves will be staying here. So don't expect our calf to come out from here. You can make, you can put the feeders for them so they will be sleeping here. You can put even dry grass for them. You can come and I'll show you another thing. We are also having a section of the uh, of the feeds. Our hay will be kept there. Uh, you can show you, you can come and show them. Uh, so, uh, this is our storage, our history. Very big, very, very big. Of the four cows. Very enough, the four cows. Here you can keep more than 100 bells. Uh, even 200, they can reach here. So there's no uh, any 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 challenge that you can get at store your fields. So as as I'm winding up, if you have these sections, then your zero grazing part is done. If you have the feeding area, if you have the walking area, if you have the sleeping area, if you have the storage, a storage, if you have the cups pail eh, and the draining or the dark pit, then that section of your goats, of your cattle is done. And I'm assuring you, there's no way you can lose out. It's just waiting for you uh, to bring the animals and the management to entertain, uh, to, to see that you tighten the management of your goats, of your cattle, and everything will move on very well. Thank you very much. Thank you for supporting Kindy Construction and Farm Consultants Limited. I remain Karimahaki.